video, we're going to take a look at a few different ways you can relax your Retapo Mesh in 3D Coat. One way is to relax the entire layer or the entire mesh by simply selecting the layer you want to apply it to, then click the Relax button here in the Command section of your tool panel. Okay, if I click that, you'll notice it relaxes. If I continue clicking, it will smooth even further. Okay, I'm going to do it a few times. The next way is to use the brush tool and that will allow you to apply relaxing as small or as large of an area as you like. For example, if I zoom in here and hold the shift key, you can see this little green indicator that shows the intensity of your brush. It's also your brush alpha profile. And when you right click and drag left and right, uh, you can increase the size of your brush right click and drag up and down you increase the intensity of your brush or decrease it okay so let's leave it all the way up and I can just click this is also a very good way if you want to apply just local snapping so for example if you see a little bit of your uh, voxel object protruding uh, from your retopo mesh sometimes you can um, uncheck auto snap move it out in a way so that it's no longer embedded beneath the voxel object and then okay recheck auto snap now I can kind of instead of doing a global snapping routine I can simply just snap locally hold the shift key and so while I'm smoothing it's actually snapping just where I have my cursor. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the opacity just a little bit. All right. So now the other way is to actually make a selection and you can relax the selected sub elements here. So let's go ahead and choose the select tool. And by default, you'll be in auto mode. And that means you can hover over the specific sub element and 3D Coat will automatically switch you to that mode. For example, if I hover over the center of the polygon, you'll notice it being highlighted. When I click on that, it automatically switches me to faces mode. Okay, so we'll go back to auto again. If I hover over an edge, same thing. If I click on that, I'm now in edges mode. Same thing with the vertex or vertices. So let's go ahead and click on an edge. You can select edge loop. You can hit the space bar to actually bring it to you right here, edge loop. Or you can assign a hotkey uh, to some of these common functions by hovering over the button, hit the end key. You can now assign whichever key you like. In this case, I've already assigned Alt L. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit my hotkey combination to quickly select that loop. Okay, one way you could actually straighten this loop is to actually switch to the transform tool. Okay. What I probably want to do is instead of a world axis, I want to switch to uh, a local axis or main axis. Now you'll notice it's reoriented uh, to the average of the selection. So let's go ahead and click the little scale widget here and you can see now it's straightened up. Let me hit escape. I'll select an edge again. Alt L. You can assign a hotkey to the transform tool. So again I can main axis. Scale that as well. Hit escape. And select another one. Alt L. And now you need to switch to vertices mode. And now all I have to do is click the relax button. Again, I can sign a hotkey to that as well. I have R assigned to it, so I'll just hit R and it will relax it. So let's try this again. Escape. You can select an, an edge here. Alt L. One. Oops and R. 
and it's that simple. So you have about three or four different ways that you can straighten or relax uh, either the entire mesh or parts of it. So thank you for watching.